arrived at Ironbridge in Shropshire and we're going to be starting out very soon on a walk of about seven and a half miles and we've parked up in the Dale End car park and we've got blue skies it's about eight degrees all's good I'm expecting it to be very hilly today walking along the gorge and also maybe a little bit muddy but we're all good and joining us today we've got Julia Paul and his dog Jess right let's go for it So this is a footpath we're descending from and as you can see it's really really muddy it's a bit wet and wild up here in the the Shropshire hills <laughs> fingers crossed none of us have gone over yet but um now you've taken there's the time. still time <laughs> I think we've done about two miles into our seven and a half miles today and we started off by the river seven crossed over by the iron bridge and up the gorge passing the lime kiln that was all good fun and um, highest point on that side of the gorge is 196 meters above sea level so now we're heading back down towards river seven and we're just walking through a caravan park at the moment so it's quite nice not to be traipsing through mud for a few minutes but i'm sure there'll be more mud later on it's good i'm enjoying it We've just crossed over the main road and now we're heading up again up towards Braggers Hill and luckily this is quite a rocky path so not too much mud this time which is something to be grateful for and the sun's come out as well. Hey, hey. So we've only got a couple of miles left until we get back into the town of Iron Bridge, where we'll probably stop for a cup of tea or a coffee and grab something to eat. Might pop into that pork pie shop. And as we're walking back, we're along uh, doing a bit of road walking, but it's all good because we've got loads of great views of the countryside. The fields are opening up, great views over the Shropshire Hills. And later this evening, myself and Julia, we're heading to Brown Clee Hill. It's a little bit of a drive away. I'm going to head up there this evening for a wild camp. First time camping in Shropshire, really looking forward to it. And a big thank you to Dave Outdoors for, uh, yeah, giving us a bit of a tip on where to, to pitch up tonight. So thanks for that, Dave. Really appreciate it. I think I can do it all in one. <laughs> Go for it. I've only got a little bit. Oh, so true, sir. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I could have been really helpful and offered to take your walking pole. Ah, oh, I like your tactics. Uh, Voila. <laughs> Cheers, Jess. That's so uh, fantastic. Love it. This is my first time hiking in Shropshire and I love it. I am really genuinely enjoying the landscape and countryside and these wonderful green spaces. And yeah, it's great. I'll definitely be coming back to Shropshire to do more walking in the future. Hopefully the near future as well. Love it. And if you've liked the content you've seen in this video, please do hit the like button, the thumbs up down below. And also please do consider subscribing. Hit that little bell in the bottom right hand corner and click on the bell that looks like it's ringing. So each time I upload a new video, you'll be made aware. We're now back in Ironbridge and the cars are parked just over the road. That's the Ironbridge Gorge Walk Trail complete. Chatching, about eight miles in total. Really, really good walk. I would highly recommend it. And the town of Ironbridge is really interesting. Loads to see and do here. 
We're going to say goodbye to Paul and Jess now. Uh, myself and Julia are heading over to Brown Clee Hill, which is about a 30 minute drive in a direction I don't know. And that's where we're going to do our wild camp. Right, we'll see you soon. swapped out the regular pegs and I've got some delta anchors six of them I've got regular hook pegs around there but it might be a bit of a blustery night all good fun though isn't it it's all part and parcel of it 20 past five in the evening and all pitched up thermals underneath all good to go and the views from up here are amazing you can see all the towns nearby with their lights twinkling away it really is quite magical so i'm all set up my sleeping system is inside i've got a four season down sleeping bag because my trichology ul80 my replacement one let me down julia is letting me borrow her spare expat sleeping pad and that's good um yes yeah, so i am now going to get a hot drink on i really fancy a coffee right now trangia has boiled up and i've got a coffee really really looking forward to this so i've just checked the weather forecast and around midnight it is due to um potentially rain and then around five o'clock in the morning it's forecast to snow but i don't want to get my hopes up because Every time you think it's going to snow, it probably won't. Um, but oh, how amazing would that be if we get a little sprinkling as we wake up in the morning? Yeah. What have I got for dinner? Where did I put it? Oh yeah, that's all good. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying my um, chicken tikka masala. I haven't had this one before. So that should be good. And what I've noticed is I do tend to prefer boiling the bag meals. I just feel they hold their flavour much better than um, the ones you have to rehydrate. But I do understand that the boiling the bag meals are a lot heavier to carry. But for a one night camp or a weekend, I don't really mind it. There we go. Let's put my rubbish there for a minute. So this is a Wayfarer meal. Ugh. And uh, yeah, open that up. And I've got my long, long titanium spoon. I might need to let that cool down for a minute because that looks really hot. Oh, it smells divine. Mm. I'm very, very tasty. Highly rate the chicken tikka with rice absolutely lovely just what you need when you're camping on top of the biggest hill in shropshire in january in the middle of a british winter <laughs> so it's 20 past six in the morning woke up and it has been a very wet and wild windy night up here in the hills of Shropshire and I've just looked out I've opened the inner but not the outer and I can see snow on the grass Ugh. it did snow I don't think it's settled I think it's just a light scattering um, but I'll try and show you but it's still pitch black outside so you might not see much at the moment and it's really windy at the minute I've just braved getting out of my tent and I don't know if you can see on here uh, 
as you can see, that's where my Langshan was. And you've got the outline where the snow settled, but most of the snow is melted now. And that's Julia's spot over there. She's got a little snow line as well. So when you come outdoors, make sure you take all your rubbish with you and leave the place how you found it. Leave no trace, leave no shears. That's it from me, folks. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Do give the video a thumbs up. Click on the subscription bell below and hit the one button so I can ring it. And feel free to leave a comment, any questions, 